Welcome to Electra Online. As you are preparing for the JEE advanced test, you might realize that many of the problems in the physics section do indeed deal with mechanics. So you'll find that there's more mechanics problems than some of the other topics in physics. And this is no exception. We're dealing with the vernier Kalper here, which they tend to sneak in there once in a while in a lot of tests. So let's read the problem. It says the diameter of a cylinder is measured using a vernier calipers with no zero error. It is found that the zero of the vernier scale lies between 5.1 and 5.15 centimeters of the main scale. The vernier scale has 50 divisions equivalent to 2.45 centimeters. The 24 division of the vernier scale exactly coincides with one of the main scale divisions and the diameter of the cylinder is and we're given those four possible answers. So, how do we deal with that? Well, first of all, I already drew a little scale here. Notice that the true answer lies somewhere between 5.10 and 5.15 centimeters. Then to find the next portion of the accuracy of the answer, we find the 24 division out of 50 on the vernier scale to determine when it coincides exactly with the line there, we add a certain delta to the initial reading of 5.10 centimeters. So what is that delta equal to? Now with the vernier caliper, as strange as what they tell us here, and I got some moisture on the board, so I want to get rid of some of that. So the way that works with a typical vernier caliper, we have typically a one centimeter equal 10, uh, 10 lines on the vernier scale. And so what we would do to get the delta, we say that the nine millimeters, because that's the 10 lines represent nine millimeters so essentially it's not the whole centimeter but nine millimeters coincide with 10 lines so we take nine millimeters plus the delta divided by 10 millimeters equals the delta that's how we calculate the delta of a vernier calipers so we then go nine is equal to delta plus 10 oop i got that one wrong here hang on something wrong with my arithmetic here so here we have 9 plus delta equals 10 delta. So subtracting that here, we get 9 is equal to 10 minus 1, which is 9 delta. And this is in millimeters. So that means 9 millimeters divided by 9 equals delta. So delta equals 1 millimeter. So this is the full scale of the vernier that represents 1 millimeter. And then, of course, we divide into 10 lines. And that means that each line represents a tenth of a millimeter. But now applying that to this strange looking vernier caliper where we have 50 lines or 50 divisions equivalent to 2.45 centimeters. So we do the same thing. We go 2.45 centimeters plus delta divided by 50 lines or 50 divisions equals delta. So we have 2.45 centimeters plus delta equals 50 delta or 2.45 centimeters equals 49 delta, or delta equals 2.45 centimeters divided by 49. And so you know that delta is equal to 0.05 centimeters. Now, to find the full reading, and here I get some more moisture on the board. There we go, all right. So now to get the full reading, we do as follows. So the diameter, is equal to the initial reading right here between the two lines. So we take the 1.50 centimeters plus the delta times the ratio of 24 divisions divided by 50 divisions. So it's a 24 division that lines up perfectly out of a total of 50 divisions. We multiply that fraction times the delta and add it to the 5.10 centimeters. So in this case, that is equal to 5.10 centimeters plus 0 0.05 centimeters multiplied times the 24 over 50. And so this is equal to 5.10 centimeters plus this goes into here 0 0.001 centimeter times 24. So this is equal to 5.10 centimeters plus 0 0.024 centimeters, which is equal to 5.124 centimeters for the total diameter. And notice, that's one of the answers. It's answer B. And so that's 
how we figure out how to read a vernier caliper on a test. When you have one action in your hand, it's kind of easier to figure it out, but if you have to do it like this theoretically, that's the way in which you approach. You first find the delta represented, representative of the vernier scale, and then you multiply that delta times the ratio of the line that lines up perfectly with the main scale, and divide that by the 50 total divisions on the vernier scale, and then you add that to the initial reading, and you get the final reading of the vernier scale. And that is how it's done. Strange looking vernier caliper.